What's up everyone, Tao here. Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, in today's video, I'm gonna quickly demonstrate uh, the iOS 11 on the iPad Air 2 and to see how well the iOS 11 will perform on this particular iPad. If you follow the news about Apple, uh, they are about to release a new system. Uh, for the iPhone and the iPad is the iOS 11 on the 12th September uh, this month, uh, not long to go. Uh, now, at the moment, uh, the latest uh, system is the iOS uh, 11 Beta 8. So that's what I'm going to show you today, and uh, just to show you how well the uh, the system uh, is running on the three years old iPad Air 2. And hopefully uh, at the end of this video and the, the iPad Air 2 users out there uh, will give you an idea uh, if you want to upgrade or not um, at the time of the new system release. Now one thing I just want to point out that the current uh, version is still beta. So just in case if you do want to go ahead to install it, uh, you might or might not experience the uh, bugs around. Um, so, but from my experience, the bit, public beta 8 is running really, really smooth. Uh, you can see in the video uh, shortly. So yeah, just bear in mind, if you do want to install, it's still in the uh, beta stage. Now, let me just show you, it is running on the iOS 11. You go in there and about, here's the iOS 11. Uh, the build version is 15A, 5370A. This is the uh, public beta 8. At the moment, it's the latest beta. Okay, first, let's have a look at the interface of the new iOS 11 on the iPad. Uh, as you can see here, the immediate uh, difference you will notice is the dock underneath here. Uh, it, looks like a, uh, it, it looks like the dock uh, in the um, Mac OS. Uh, now, the maximum uh, icon you can put on a dock uh, well, at least on this particular iPad, iPad Air 2, is 13. Uh, if you, you know, if you do want to have more than 13, uh, you might have to change to different sizes of iPad, uh, but don't call me on that. But for this iPad, a maximum is uh, 13 icons or 13 apps you can put on a dock. In terms of the uh, control center, uh, there is a dramatic change uh, within the iOS 11. Uh, what you do is swipe from the bottom to the top. You can see here's the control center. Uh, the icons, they are getting bigger. The dock, you can actually see the dock as well. On the right hand side, here's the controls. Uh, now, I only found out the other day. Now, I did a video on the iPhone 6S because iPhone 6S has force touch. So you normally do on the icon is you press and, and, and force touch it, or just like press again, the option will come up. Now this thing actually happened on this Air 2 as well. Instead of you uh, press it, you just tap and hold. I'm just demonstrating, you tap and hold, and the more option will come up, which is, um, I think it's pretty neat. So first thing, give you overall control, overall view, and if you do want more controls, you just tap and hold. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's really useful. Now the way to um, get rid of the tabs, you just swipe up, you can do two at the same time. Oh, oh. yeah, you can do two at the same time. And uh, you can open apps as well from the control center, or you can just double tap the home screen, just like you normally do on the iOS 10. And then you can open different um, apps. Uh, now, Pay attention to the uh, smoothness of the apps open. Um, I didn't really, really experience any uh, major lags, uh, to be honest. So everything is, is pretty smooth. Um, YouTube, let me just open a few apps so you can see. Now, you can also access the control center uh, just by swiping from the bottom to the top. Like, like this, and then here's give you overview. Now here's the um, uh, control center, or multitasking as you wish. Uh, I think you can, yeah, you can move around, can you? 
Okay, maybe not. Let me just quickly show you the keyboard. Now, the keyboard has changed on the iPad as well. As you can see uh, on the top row, here's the number as well. Now, normally you just type the, the letters. Uh, let me just quickly type, say like so. Now, if you do want numbers, instead of you um, press the, the number key here, like what you normally do. So what you do, you press and swipe. See that? Swipe down, that'll be number one. And, and swipe down again, two and three and four, like so. Uh, I think it's really useful. So basically it's kind of a quick access. You don't have to keep typing the number of stuff. Now here's also a add. So again, same principle. Uh, there is a bright letter here by default, but if you do want to use numbers, use symbols, you simply just swipe the keys down uh, and then you will get the secondary symbol. Very, very useful. Now, in terms of the uh, multitasking, let me just swipe up down. Here, you can open two apps at the same time. Uh, let me just demonstrate. Uh, here's a uh, X exchange. So we'll do, okay, here we go. You just drag the app from the dock all the way to the second app you want to open and then it will open like this. Now this window actually is floating window. So you can put to the left, or to the right. Now, if you want to open two apps at the same time, you just press and drag the app until you see the screen split and then let go. There you go, you get two apps open at same time. And also it's multi-touch. And then you can adjust window size. Um, depends on which one you're working on. So if you do want to say keep the iTunes window and then get rid of the XE, so you just do the same thing, swap down, and then you want to close it, swipe to all the way to the right, and then it's gone. Now if you want to open the control center again, you swipe up again. Now the first swipe, you will see different dock, uh, different apps on the dock. Say if you want to use YouTube, you can do exactly the same thing. You can open two at the same time. Now, if you want to use the uh, iTunes full screen, again, you swipe down and then it will float on top of the iTunes. So again, it's floating and here we go. So as you can see, um, there isn't any lags when I'm doing the multitasking. Everything is really, really smooth. Um, so, as you can see here, it's really, really smooth. Hopefully, you guys can see well. Now, if you do want to go all the way to the control center, you just swipe again. So, here is the control center. Um, so, everything is, is really, really smooth. To be honest, there are so many changes under the hood, uh, so many I can't really show you. But this just uh, uh, this just to give you idea uh, how well the Upper Air 2 will cope the new iOS 11. So from what you guys can see, uh, things going really really well. It's really really smooth. Uh, the lags, um, I can't really notice any lags to be honest. Um, so yeah, everything is good. Right, uh, this is the end of the video. Uh, I really hope this video has helped you guys to decide whether you want to upgrade to the new iOS 11 uh, or not um, when the time comes. Um, all in all, uh, in my experience, the uh, new iOS 11, even in the beta stage, is running really, really well on this particular iPad. And uh, hopefully you guys will experience the same thing uh, as I did. Uh, now, if you guys did enjoy the video uh, please give a thumbs up and share with others maybe some other ipad air 2 users will be beneficial from that as well uh, however if you didn't like the video you know what to do uh, now if you do want to keep up with my channel uh, please please subscribe 
uh, so I can um, um, give you guys more video like this in the future. Uh, so see you uh, in the next video.